Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I'm bringing you episode 16 of iCrafting's Crusoe. Um, I have done some things while I've been gone. Um, I built this cactus trap. I was going to just make it as a, um, a pattern and then remake it, but after all the work it took to make it, I said I'm just going to show how I made it. And I'm up here in the middle of the night and hoping some uh, zombies or some skeletons will come by like that one and then I'm going to zip down in the hole that I have underneath here and shut the door and wait because underneath here I have poppers and as you could hear right there the sticky pistons worked so that means that there is, that skeleton has gotten into the trap because he thought he would be able to get to me by going in there and he's not moving around so he still has gotten he has everything uh, still pushed and he can still shoot at me if I'm not careful here so what he's done is he's gotten himself in there uh, and we'll try to get away from the creeper because I really don't want him to blow everything up and he wasn't going to get in there um, I've seen several of them actually just walk right in from the other end, but he happened to be right on the part where he wasn't going to go in there. So the skeleton is down in here um, trying to get away, and he has used he has hit the tripwires. Uh, as you can see, there is a line across there and a line across the middle, and I put the uh, the uh, slab there in the middle because they were getting down too low and then not not hitting the uh, the cactus when they uh, when they would get in there and now as soon as he gets in there and tries to come after me from there then he should start hitting that cactus one of them and uh, should pretty much kill himself and he hit the trip player again and so now he's going to be harm harmless to me because he can't shoot while he is dying so there he goes. And so when he gets off the trip wires, because there are three of them across there, then the uh, sticky pistons, which are underneath here, uh, move back and the blocks that it pushed out move back. Now I'm going to go down and show you how the hoppers work. All of the hoppers are turned so that they go to the center hopper. Everything goes all the way around. Anything that falls in there in the area in which uh, the water is will come down through the hopper and he left me a bone. So um, depending on wh what gets in there, on what kind of night, you know, and there are different monsters out on different nights. Um, this night that I was in, which we're now on day 48, so that was the 47th night uh, since we've been playing this. And there are some, I can hear some zombies in here around. Let's see if we can get one of them to follow along here too. So I'll go along this way and try to get him around here and then I'm going to go ahead and get back down in the hole and that's usually the way to catch them because they think that if they drop into the hole over here that they can get you. So if we hear the, the uh, pistons go then we know we got him otherwise he's gone off somewhere else. He may have just come on up over the top of the hole here. And so, yeah, he did. He thought he could get at me from there. So he went back in the trees now. If he comes out again, we'll try to lure him over the top of it. So that's the, one of the reasons that I was saying that a cactus trap is uh, fairly inefficient. Because you basically you'd have to l make a whole line of these things out, like, say, on the beach, where they'd have to drop into it, like when I had the villagers in the hole over there. Um, and I put the hole around it, they were focused on the villagers and they had to drop into that hole uh, to get to them. So where it is now, um, at least at night time, it's dark over there. Here comes a skeleton through um, on that side, except for the area here where I made my little tunnel. And I can zip through there and get over to the house over the lake. And here comes a creeper and let's just see if we can go ahead. I'll try getting him into here and I'll kill him if I have to, but yeah, he's not going to go. He's not going to get in there. And I don't want him to blow up all my hard work. So I'll just go ahead and kill him. 
it's just not reliable to you know have them jump in if if you can get down into the hole most of the time they will come in because they can sense that you're down below there and so they will walk in and then they will hit those uh, trip wires um, which uh, I bought okay let's get this guy maybe he'll drop me something nice here and that doesn't look like it nope okay so uh, anyway I, bu I bought um, six let's see no yeah I bought I had needed eight I needed six trip wires, so I bought four of them because um, you had to give him five chickens to buy four of them five fried chicken <laughs> and then I just looked up the recipe and made the other two that I needed and then I uh, went ahead and bought six of the sticky pistons um, using the steak so that was all I had to work with let's see if we can get him to go in there now I can try just hitting him in there um, if I hit him with something other than my sword let's see I can maybe knock him in there and there you go don't want to spend too much time out here. He's going to die anyway, so I'll we'll just go ahead and get rid of him and get the skeleton. Now, if he hadn't been burning up already, then I might have been able to get him in there. Okay. All right. <laughs> Maybe we can get him to get in there, unless I get me in there. They might crawl in. I don't think so. They're already having troubles burning up. They're not worried about getting over the edge and trying to find me right now. So, so much for that. And some of them probably went back into the trees. And sounds like maybe one of them might have hit that. Yep, there we go. He hit the cactus and he went in and there went the... Uh, there went the uh, things. The pistons. Okay, so we got all those. Yeah, and so we'll go down and find out what got left. Probably just some rotten flesh. Yep, there it is. So you can get a little bit of loot that way if you can get them to get into the trap. The trap does work if you can get them to drop in there, and that's the thing. You know, if you had like a big long black tunnel with that at the end of it, and then you stood at one end of it and waited, um, they would probably try to get to you. But like they won't run uh, naturally into lava, they're not going to just jump into a pit usually either. So that's why that's fairly inefficient. But anyway, it's made. And I had fun messing around with it and trying to get it uh, kind of honed to the situation. So that was fun. Okay, so then... Um, I've been down doing a lot of mining. Um, oh, and I did. I took cookies up to Friday, and I got the rest of my um, gunpowder that I needed to get out here and blow up the ship. And I made 25 pieces of TNT. I'm supposed to use at least 20. And uh, I've gone over here, and I have gotten the ship ready to blow. And I have set some long fuses out here. I'll start at this end. Now it may or may not you know go all the way through and just keep on going. I may have to just set off individual parts of it but we'll try. We'll see what happens here. Stand here and hit this lever and see how much of it blows. And it goes one and it, it won't go any further. Okay so we'll get up on here and get the lever because I didn't bring any with me. Try to get it without going down into the water. And it went into the water. No, I didn't. I got it. Yay. So I'll go ahead and pick up the redstone. I'm not going to worry about the uh, cobblestone right now. Now, see, the water, you know, it's a silly thing to really to try to blow this up out here. The uh, water is uh, going to muffle most of the explosion. And there really is no way, unless you start making, like, caves in it, to, uh, to get it to... Uh, blow up from beneath where it really needs to. So we got another piece out. So it's just kind of a hopeless task. Now this one may, this is going to go out and set off three at least when I hit the, the switch on it this time. 
and where did it where did the lever go? Did I miss the lever? Oh, I'll have to go get some levers. There it is. It's down in there. No, that's redstone. Let's see, where did the lever go? Maybe I can find it. There it is. Yay. Should have brought some out here with me. Okay, let's try this one. And I think I will back up a little ways from this one. Yeah, we're gonna those three are gonna go for what it's worth. There we go, and I got the lever that time. Okay, pick up the redstone. Um, actually, I should have left that on there. Put the redstone in four. Okay, there we go there. And I can go this far here. And I already have a lever on that part. So, oh shoot. That won't hit anything because it got that. So I'll go ahead and pick up the other lever. And get right over the top of it. And come to me. Yes. Okay. So <coughs> as you can see, it isn't really doing much damage. Just like blow up the ship with 20 pieces of TNT really is not uh, something that's going to happen. But we'll, we'll blow it all off and make sure that we've done all the 25 pieces that I put out here. Okay, that might get that'll get a couple of them. Okay, and keep on going. Now, if any of you are watching and you know a better way to get it, other than like getting underneath and like making a dry cave or something like that, which I wasn't going to go into that much trouble, and then you can let me know. Okay, I think I think I want to go set it off from this end over here. Okay, and get that redstone that went down in there. Lever, hit the lever. It's too bad it won't jump across. Um, I tried connecting some of them so that it would go around them, but it really doesn't seem to help because you you can only get just a certain distance away and then you you know unless you use repeaters and all that kind of stuff which I didn't go into that either so just do this at least we're using the TNT there we go now I'm sure my grandson could do a better job of this Ethan loves to blow things up with TNT okay a little more redstone there, and a lever. And there go two of them. But see, like like I said, the the water muffles it, so that's kind of kind of a useless exercise. Um, just set that there. Okay. We're getting there. And let's see, if I set my lever in there, it'll set off both of those paths. Oops. There we go. And back up. There we go. At least it's a recyclable project. Except I'm not going to worry about the cobblestone. I have so much cobblestone down in there. That's ridiculous. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get that. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Uh, that one took out a little bit there. Come on. Okay, what do we have out here? Uh, see, I don't know if that I don't know if that'll hit all the way from out here or not. Let's see. Um, not quite. Looks like it's like one shy. All right. We'll just go in a couple there. 
try again. There we go, we got one of them. And it just, it stops when it gets there, so it's kind of useless. Alright. I should go down and get some of that glowstone, I suppose, for my dip in the ocean that I have to take. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and set this one off. This one should reach without a problem. Okay. Go. There we go. Alright. And there. And then that'll go two directions. Um, if you hit the switch, well. <laughs> oh, that TNT fell off of there. Now that actually did a little bit of damage. Not a whole lot. That's kind of interesting. All right. Uh, hit the switch. There goes that one. Okay. So, when Ethan watches this, he'll probably tell me exactly what I should have done. Grandma, you could have done this, and you could have done that. It's like, okay, Ethan, you can make the next one. <laughs> He wants to make a video with me anyway. And that would be kind of fun if we, if we can set up the LAN where we can do that. I have to get headphones and everything on the other computer so he can do that when he's out here one of these times. Okay, ready? Get that one over there. That should take out two. It didn't do that. I guess that one oh, it took out those two. Hmm. Oh, I guess there was a break there. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got that one, and I think that's the last one. Okay, that's not going to do it either. I have to get some cobblestone up to it, I guess. I'll put a piece there, and put some more redstone up there. That should take care of it. And hit the switch. There we go. And bluey. There we go. I can feel it felt enough of those blasts that I my uh, hunger bar has gone down a little bit, my health bar has gone down a little bit, uh, but it didn't do much to the ship. Because I'm a little bit more fragile than the ship. Okay, get down here and get these things. I got a few blocks out of it. But mostly, we just got to watch the blasts happen. Didn't even kill any creepers, and even though they came running over here to see what was going on. Okay, uh, I got a squid. There's a ink sack, which I'm not going after. Okay, all right. So I'll just leave Mr. Creeper right there, and if I decide to, I'll come back over and get the cobblestone at some point. I don't think I left any of the TNT behind. If I did, that's too bad because there were 25 instead of 20, so it's okay. All right, now get a little bit of something to eat here. I picked up most of my redstone, that's good. I think I took three, used up pretty close to three full stacks. Okay, food. Thanks to those sheep. The red sheep that escaped and got killed. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and go put stuff away, and then I'm going to show you the. Um, the crocodile st statue, as it were. And there's my cactus that I was growing to use over there. And I just let it keep on growing after I finished over there. I only used a tiny bit. When I came back from the ship a while ago, Mr. Santa Ken was out here walking around in the moat. I have no idea how he got out of here. I think he must have probably gotten pushed onto the ladder by one of the other villagers here. Because um, normally if it's up a space like that, the villagers can't get out. But if they get pushed, it's possible that they can. And so thankfully he didn't take off somewhere else. Um, but he, I, as far as I know, the, all of the named villagers are still here. Whoops. There's one of them, obviously. Yeah, there he is. He's the guy that was out there. And that was the baby a little while ago, that uh, cleric there. 
Okay, and he is not. And there's Yuri. Okay, so we have Bill, Rick, and Robert still. Here's Robert. And Bill and Rick seem to like to go upstairs here. I don't know why, but I usually find them up here. Let's see. And hopefully they are here. I'm sure I don't see them anywhere. Man, I hope they all didn't escape somewhere. After all this time. Uh, okay, who's this over here? Oh, get out of the hole. Okay, who's this? Can't see his name if he's got a name. Nope, that's one of the the babies that was born. As is he. And there's Rick. Okay, so I'm only missing Bill. There's Bill. Okay, so they're all here. All right then. There we go. And Yuri. Yep, they're all here. Whew. Safe and sound. And there's that tomato apple up there. So let's see. Let's go ahead and put these away, and if it's still night, then I'll go ahead and sleep. But it's going to be daylight here in just a minute or two. So I'll get these things put up. And I've still been gathering uh, the wheat, and I've made some more cookies because that was how I got the extra gunpowder. I went over and uh, gave Friday, uh, I gave him 20 cookies to get 10 gunpowder, and I got a lot of gunpowder. <laughs> so. Okay, now we get this. And we'll put the redstone in here. Back where it was. And not that I need it for anything else, but it's there. Put the pumpkins in there. Put some cobblestone. And there's all the dirt that I have. And uh, I've got some more wood to put away. Now I keep hearing the uh, sound that uh, indicates that there is a closed uh, space with no light in it underneath. And, you know, we call them dungeon sounds. I don't know if you recognize that sound, but sometimes you hear like a train train whistle. Sometimes you hear the um, um, just a little kind of a rumble, but it's u it's usually kind of an ominous sound. And uh, that sound just happened, one of those sounds. So somewhere down there in the mine, there is something that I haven't found. And I still have not found any more diamonds. I've been down, I've found more coal, and I found more iron. And uh, I just have, and I found some more gold, and uh, some more emeralds, some more redstone, and no more diamonds. Oh, I should put that away. I'll just get that up here. Okay, so let's go quickly, as quick as we can. Uh, let's see, let's teleport up here to the, the watermelon patch, which is, uh, where is the melon patch? 65, 115, minus 91. And you can see that that has again filled in and is growing in its carrot form. So I don't really need to harvest those. I have plenty of, of food, plenty of melons. So I'm gonna go back over to the fishing cabin now which is um, 124, 63, minus 88. And we'll see that we should have a grown kitty. Yeah, we have three grown kitties here now. And uh, the two that I got out in the wild and, and tamed, and the kitty, the baby who uh, has been set down, so we'll call him tamed also. <laughs> so now we're going to take a trip around over toward the mountain. And I didn't write down the chords for that. So we'll just have to travel over there. Here we go. And you've seen all the stuff that's in there. The tower with Friday inside and the animals. And I have still kept the cows and been getting the steaks from them because I just finished, before I made that trap, getting all of the, uh, the steaks that I needed to get the sticky pistons. So, I could kill that chicken, but I'm not going to bother. I don't, don't want to go out of the way right now. It's going to take a little while. We s we're already about a quarter into the day. So we're swimming. It's actually easier to swim right now than it is to get up and travel through all those trees. And I have searched all around here. I cannot find any sign of a lost mine shaft. I've, I've looked for doors. I've been under the trees, over the trees. Um, 
I went into creative and flew around and looked. I didn't see anything from up there. I got down here and looked underneath. I've looked under, like, at the edges of all the cliffs. I looked for any kind of an opening that looks like it goes to any kind of a mine shaft. And I certainly can't find anything out here. I'm sure it's here somewhere. He wouldn't have said it was if it wasn't. I did find the one in the Wild West map. <laughs> it was I had been by it I don't know how many times when I found it. I think I must have been by it a dozen times. Uh, probably right over the top of it or you know, just far enough away that it didn't draw uh redraw when I was walking through the chunk. You know, there's a possibility that it could be like over here in those uh in there, but I have gone down. That is the mountain. That's where I need to be. I've been down inside of there. I just went straight down from the top and went down as far as I could go, just mining my way down and the same on the hill over there behind, figuring that maybe there might be something in there. Uh, I sure couldn't find anything there. Okay, so now here's what I've done. My lovely artistry here. There is my crocodile big lizard statue on the side of the mountain. And that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> if I'd have made it probably five times as big, um, I might have been able to get a little more detail to it, but I figured that was good enough. So now we have the apple and we have the crocodile and uh, we have blown up the ship and I have the uh, cacti trap. Have not found the lost mine shaft. Um, I haven't made the five golden hoes. I need to get a little more gold for that. And I'm going to have to make an anvil. And I, I doubt if we're going to get a pet dog. So I need to go fishing with my three um, my three ocelots, at least, to take care of that part at sunset. Maybe I can make it back over there and do that with them. All we got to do is catch one fish, and that will be that challenge out of the way. And I need to get the diamond armor, and I don't have enough diamonds. So as soon as we round this up, I'm going to go back underground and see if I can find those diamonds and get it, the rest of the gold that I need to make those hoes. And look what we have over here in the uh, portal. So we'll take advantage of that. We can get another gold nugget from him probably, or maybe even a couple. <laughs> and he looks a little different than you might be used to seeing because this is optifying with my uh, Sortex Fanver. And did he drop any kind of a gold nugget? I'm not sure I really want to go down there and look for one gold nugget. I didn't get one, so... We'll see. I don't see anything. No gold nuggets down there. Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> be diamond armor down here before too long, hopefully. And I'll go ahead and get it. thing is, you got to throw it in. And it doesn't always go straight down when you throw it in. You're supposed to get it into the deepest part. Okay, so well, are we at sunset? Almost. Um, we'll call it sunset. It's creeping up on sunset. I'll go ahead and fish a little bit. And uh, with my fancy little fishing pole. I'll just go out here. I could go out on the top, but we'll just go out here. And we'll leave the door open so that we're with the kitties. And we'll wish there was a dog out here. The kitties don't because then the dog could eat the fish. Okay. Just bring in a couple of fish. And look for bubbles. Come on. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Okay, here we go. Here comes a fish. And I believe that was a salmon. And I think the cats know. <laughs> a couple more and we'll definitely have our sunset here. Whoops. <laughs> Let that bobber set. Pretty much guaranteed to get one. Anyway, it might just take a little while. Some bigger bubbles coming, so probably the fish should be on any second. Now here it comes. And there we go. Don't tell me I didn't even get anything that time. Okay, we have a raw salmon. We'll try a couple more. I wish that they had put um, fish in that you could see swimming around. That would be kind of nice. 
instead of just that. There we go. That was just a raw fish. Um, I've fished in uh, in the uh, Sims, in the Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims 4. We've had fishing. Um, and uh, in fact, I just finished um, an angling ace challenge in the Sims 4. And you get to see the fish. And that's really nice. They jump. Of course, you know, they come from a, a spawner that's put into the world. And uh, they're just at the fishing spots. But you get to see them. And there's all so sorts of different kinds. And when you're fishing in uh, World of Warcraft, um, you don't get to see them at all. You don't even get to see the fish heading for the the fish like this. It's just, you just sit there and do the same thing. You're just sitting there waiting for the bobber to bob. and But you do the same thing. It's basically you know, right click and wait and then right click again. I like that aspect especially of The Sims where you get to see the fish out there. That's kind of nice. So okay, so I'm going to make this the last one. And the sun is beginning to set. So we'll call that fishing with the cats. There we go. At sunset. And I'll go ahead and give them some of the fruits of my labor. They like the puffer fish. So, whoops. Come back here, fishing ball. Give one one there. And one, whoops. Give that one to that one. And then I have another fish here to give to this guy. And they're seated or they'd make some more babies. They can't get over to each other right now. Okay, so at least they've been fed. And that's another challenge down, except for the dog. And I just, I haven't seen any wolves while I've been looking around either. Could go ahead and spawn a wolf, I suppose, but you're not supposed to be cheating either, so. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of episode 16. And uh, while I'm gone, I will try to get those diamonds. And, um, try again to find that to find that lost mine shaft. I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to do that. But I'll give it a try. So thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next episode.